Welcome to the U.S. Copyright Office Virtual Card Catalog Proof of Concept. The VCC covers all the card catalog images from 1870 to 1977. That's over 41.5 million card images. The VCC contains raw metadata captured from the card images through optical character recognition. The data is about 90% accurate for cards with typed information in the 1955 to 1977 time period. Keep in mind that this may help you find the cards you're looking for, but it is not a guarantee and is not a substitute for a certified search of the records performed by the Copyright Office. There's a brief overview of the current features on the homepage. When accessing the page, please read the disclaimer and click OK. The VCC indexes are divided into copyright registrations, assignments, and other indexes, which include title indexes, pseudonyms, commercial prints and labels, and notice of use. Let's browse through the 1898 to 1937 cards to find a registration for Mark Twain's Innocence Abroad. We'll first filter on the time period. Then, we'll filter drawers starting with the letter C for Clemens. We can also filter by the drawer label. By typing CLEM, those filters return three drawers and 5,500 card images. Let's select CLEM through CLEW and show only that drawer. Clicking on cards shows us the remaining 1,300 cards. We can browse more quickly by adjusting the number of cards shown per page and the number of rows of cards. Here we start to see cards for Samuel Clemens, and here we find a card with Samuel Clemens, Mark Twain in parentheses, and the title for Innocence Abroad. For the cards between 1955 and 1977, we can filter the cards by entering text that appears on the card itself. Let's look for a Dolly Parton author card by filtering the card text. First, we'll click on Select Indexes Filterable by Card Text. This selects the 1955 to 1970 and 1971 to 1977 indexes. Next, we can type our text in Filter Cards. Or we can use the advanced options to filter for Dolly Parton and I Will Always Love You. This leaves us with 25 card images to browse. If we start browsing through the cards, we'll come to the Dolly Parton author card for I Will Always Love You. We can click on More at the bottom of the page to view the OCR text associated with the card. If we click on Cards from the Same Drawer, we can browse through other Dolly Parton author cards in that same drawer that may not have exactly matched our filter. The notifications icon at the top of the page will show our card searches and drawer activity for the current browsing session. The help page has guidance on browsing and filtering the VCC. Click on a topic to expand for more information. Click it again to collapse the question. Be sure to read the tips and tricks to help you get better results. The FAQ contains answers to frequently asked questions, links to the Historic Public Records homepage, and downloads to help navigate the card catalog, such as the different types of card layout and a list of abbreviations used on the cards. The card guide gives us further information about the nuances of each index in the VCC. Please take our survey to share your thoughts about the Virtual Card Catalog Proof of Concept.